Welcome back to the Chris Thompson Show. We're going to take a little break from football and talk about the ACU women's soccer program. That's right, Kimberly. Scott Stewart takes a closer look at Casey Wilson's ACU women's soccer team coming off that 9-8-2 season a year ago. We have an awesome team this year. Um, personality-wise and player-wise, um, so I'm really excited. I think that we're going to, uh, we have the potential to win everything, and so I'm expecting to do that. Uh, we've done a lot of running, a lot of getting in shape. I think everyone came in shape a lot better from the summer. I know I personally have done a lot more this past summer than any summer leading up to it, so just uh, preparing for this season, like we just did a lot of that. It was, it's been really cool to be on the team since the beginning and to watch it grow because we just keep getting in new girls and um, the girls who have stuck it out are just quality girls so it's it's a, it's getting good it's getting really good we're building a good program I just think that we're so good that if we lose it's just gonna be our fault so our biggest competition is ourselves <laughs> yeah. last season's finish it was bittersweet we made it to the playoffs which was a huge accomplishment a big success for the team um, I just wish we could have made it a little farther well, we had 6 a.m. workouts in the spring and come out five days a week and practice and run and this is our third year as a program and I mean as a second year team making it to playoffs was a huge success. We all came in in a lot better shape this year and I think just the team atmosphere is a lot better. Um, we're like more as a family and we're playing better like possession and stuff on the field. Since being at the very first year and seeing like where we are now is miles ahead of what we were um, just with the skill on our team. Um, knowledge of the game, just everything really is. Uh, I expect to win every game. I think we're going to win conference this year. Um, I learned that like since I only have two years left that like to give everything I got and no regrets and to not like just, mm, I don't know, just to work as hard as I can every time and I think the whole team learned that just to always go hard. I think for the most part being healthy is, is, a, is a major concern and I think if we can stay healthy we have a a lot of experience and our expectations I believe could be a definitely another playoff run. Well the girls really worked hard in the offseason and you know throughout the summer a lot of them came in and in excellent shape. I feel like uh, the experience that we have coming you know coming into the season you know after a lot of three-year veterans has definitely helped us quite a bit. It's grown a lot of different ways uh, in the past three years you know the, the, the level of talent has gone up quite a bit and um, the amount of you know the amount of players we have on our team that can that can come into play right away has increased quite a, definitely. You know, uh, throughout the Lone Star Conference, there isn't really any team that that uh, it's it's a bad team, I and mean, they're they're all very competitive. Central Oklahoma, West Texas, and Commerce are three to come to mind that are always front runners each and every year that are tough. But but I, I, there's no one definitely no one you can look past. And we certainly wish Coach Casey Wilson and that women's soccer team all the best this season. Coach, in our closing minutes here, uh, a, an interesting opportunity for you last night. You got interviewed at halftime and after the game by our co-host here, Kimberly Prather. She was on the sidelines for the CBS College Sports Broadcast. I thought she did an outstanding job. It was uh, the, the whole thing, the whole night with the TV production, everything was great. And I thought Kimberly uh, played a huge role in that, did a great job. And, and tell us about that experience, Kimberly, because that was a big moment for you. It was very exciting, my first ever national broadcast. So it was hectic and it was exciting. I mm. guess it was hectic just like the football game. So <laughs> we got to keep it in line. <laughs> That's right. Well, Coach, as we, as we think about uh, this victory Thursday night, uh, it is a bit of a weird week. A Thursday night game followed nine days later by a Saturday game against Fort Lewis College right here in Abilene. Ta talk us through the schedule for the next few days and what your team will be going through and what I guess you'll be thinking about working on with your team. Well, it's really a great setup because training camp is so demanding. Those three weeks leading up to your first game is just really it's tough on the players, it's tough on the coaches. Uh, you play the game Thursday night, and then uh, and we got we got the day off on Friday. Uh, the players came in, watched the film, got a got a lift in, uh, and then they get they get Saturday off, and uh, which is which is great because they at this point in the year they need a day off, you know. And then we'll come back Sunday evening uh, and start to prepare for Fort Lewis, and then it just goes to a normal game week. They get Monday off, and then we practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and walk through Friday and play on Saturday. So it. Uh, 
the day off Saturday is huge for those guys. 19 to 14, the victory over Northwest Missouri State. We talked about this uh, after the game, Coach. You knew you were going to have stuff to work on either way. Always better to get a win if you're going to have to work anyway, right? Yeah, there's no question. Uh, you, you always make your biggest jump between game one and game two, and uh, there's a ton of stuff to work on there on both sides of the ball and in the kicking game, obviously. So uh, we've got a lot of things to work on. Great to get the win. If, if you lose that game, you're feeling terrible right now. You know, we've we've lost some like that. So uh, it's great to get a win and, and uh, proceed from here. And who knows if that victory on Thursday night could be the one that pushes you into the playoffs at season's end. A, a big win over a, a regional opponent. Great win Thursday night. Way to go. Uh, for more, log on to acusports.com for the latest on the ACU football team and all of ACU athletics. For Kimberly Prather and the coach Chris Thompson, I'm Grant Boone. Thanks for watching the Chris Thompson Show.